disembodied. You should have animal. battling <laughs> aliens. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> 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 See what you did. Well, I can't get over it. <laughs> I should never have pointed it out. Don't be I and mine. My old it's blue. <laughs> I like blue. <laughs> That's a cool shirt, man. Thank you. Yeah. I like that too. You should just hang out like this. Yeah. Talk about each other's clothes. Yeah. You guys do it, yeah. Check, check, check. Okay, somebody. <laughs> You guys amazed we actually get anything shot? Yeah. <laughs> Dylan always goes to the camera and he's like, what is this? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, how's Comic Con treating you so far? It's good. It's man. awesome. Round four. It's crazy. Fourth time here? Yeah, it's fun. Does it get more intense each time with fans? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess technically, technically, yeah. Like, the, the fan base gets stronger and so we feel that intensity more. But we get more comfortable with it, I guess, each time. So it's, uh, yeah, like, I'm totally cool with, like, coming here now. I used to make me nervous and jittery and stuff, but now it's like home, sort of. It's a weird home to have. It's interesting. Ah, uh, come on. Lots of characters. <laughs> no, I, but it, I mean, it is. I think the, you know, the fan base has obviously grown and uh, you know, being in different rooms now for our panels and getting in, the, you know, all of 20 or whatever it was yesterday. I think it's that was like a big eye-opening thing. That was great. Um, it's insane. Uh, the fans are awesome. Uh, I remember the first year we were here, we were begging people to come to our panel <laughs> and not tell us to go home uh, in the meanest way possible. <laughs> and and now, yeah, and now they have to turn people away, and it's, it's crazy. And um, I mean, it's nice to. It is nice to come here and feel comfortable. Though. I know the first season we were sitting in the corner rehearsing our answers. And, uh, now we just come down and have fun, and it's just good to see the fans and have a good time. Yeah, that's great. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I like it. As a, um, as a viewer, I find, especially this season's gotten really, really dark. Is there a point when you guys get scripts and you're like, just when I thought it couldn't get any dark, they've gone there? Yeah, every episode. Yeah. <laughs> every episode is like that. We always get the scripts, you know, and we kind of, like, we have our own experience, like, seeing the show, sort of, not seeing it, but reading it, I guess, and we, we always get the script, and it's like reading the new episode, and yeah, you're right, it's always, I'm always blown away at how much we manage to cram into one episode, like, it's, yeah, I'm always like, whoa, whoa, what? And then we should only shoot them in, like, seven days, it's fat, you know, it's, uh, it's why, uh, we, it's why it takes up our whole life, really. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's amazing when you see our call sheets, because it's, uh, I feel like when you look at it and it's just it's always like this long with all the things you're supposed to do that day yeah. and then half of them get transferred over the next day and then Another somehow unit. by the last it's day it's like oh yeah no we actually got everything and I don't understand we just keep moving so yeah. stuff. we end up getting it all and they cut it together and it's uh, that's, I mean it's amazing what they can do and, um, and we've had a lot of fun doing it so it's nice to keep coming back and uh, yeah, I think that the progression of the show is definitely you know going in a darker direction, a lot more horror this year, obviously. So it's good though. I think it's uh, I think it's what fans are enjoying about the show, and, and hopefully they can keep watching. Tell us what's coming up for you guys. When are you losing your virginity? Yeah, I, tell me about it. <laughs> I don't know. It's time. Maybe three V. Because I know it doesn't have any three A. Spoiler alert. Uh, I don't know. And what's funny is like you know yeah we did that in like the third episode it was like a thing where you know I was like hey uh, I picked up on something virgins are you know right. the ones being killed I'm a virgin and then that just kind of got lost and right? now we're at episode eight already and it's just kind of like where did that why am I still alive? Because <laughs> we know I haven't had sex. And I'm just still, my heart is still beating. I haven't been murdered at all. It's just really funny. I don't know, what's coming up with the last four episodes? Uh, five. Kind of crazy. It's five five, five months? Five months? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> uh, I, I know Styles is, one thing I can remember is uh, uh, stuff happens with my papa. Uh, but that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Tyler. Ah. Uh, uh, well, there's, there's the new love story, so uh, definitely going to see where that goes. Um, you find that out uh, by the end of the season. Uh, and uh, it's been a fun like new side of Derek to kind of play with. Uh, and then uh, just got to deal with the alphas. You got to deal with the alphas and maybe some other unseen what is their things. <laughs> know, they're really grumpy. Dude. Really, really grumpy. <laughs> you got a chip on the shoulder. <laughs> and there's some <laughs> family stuff. 
stuff too, right? Uh, it's a lot of family. Uh, episode 8 is a big flashback episode. Uh, you learn a lot about, that's actually probably one of the biggest things coming up there. You learn a lot about his history, okay. um, why he is the way he is. Uh, you learn about why different werewolves have different colored eyes, okay. um, which has always been a big question for a lot of people. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of information coming up in the next few episodes. You kind of start to see why Derek is on this path that he is on. So. We had a big death this week on the show. Yeah. How does that change things going forward, and are there more coming Close I think it. I think it for Derek, I think it ups the stakes. I think it's that first. I mean, I think Eric is that. Eric is that. Uh, you know, being there for the aftermath and, and knowing that you know one of his has died and it's kind of on his, it's kind of on him. It's his fault um, is one thing, but to see it happen right in front of him and to really feel like he's responsible because he, he's the one who physically killed him. Uh, I think it ups the stakes. I think it ups the stakes. <laughs> yeah, I guess when you actually kill someone, it makes things different. But um, I think it ups the stakes in his mind. I think it's a little bit more uh, of a realization of what he's actually gotten himself into. And I think he's kind of become aware of how deep in he is in this mess. Uh, and he's going to need help getting out of it. So. Things have been going so badly for Derek. Is there any, <laughs> is there any light at the end of the tunnel? Because he's having like the worst life ever. Did anyone at the panel yesterday uh, think about you losing every fight? Have I ever had a fight? So funny. Have I ever had a fight? The only. <laughs> Get a pull through. I literally get my ass kicked every single week. That's what happens. I've asked, I've asked this guy right here, Jeff uh, Vegas, if, right if I'm ever going to win a fight. And I, and I don't know. I don't know. I'd also like to know is Derek ever going to get like an apartment that is furnished? Like he's, like, he's just living in Hey, that place is down. nice. <laughs> okay, so we haven't really, we haven't really <laughs> shown. We haven't yeah, shown. Right. Well, now it's, yeah, now it's screwed. I don't know what we're going to do now. But, uh, we never really showed it, but that's actually a nice place. When they, when they made that set, I was like, I could honestly live in this, in this little loft. This is awesome. It's a lot nicer than we make it look on the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watching it back, I, I, it does look dark and creepy and like, yeah. cold, even a little. Like, it feels uncomfortable. But there's like, there's like, but it's actually a really nice place. Restoration place. hardware and stuff. It's <laughs> nice. It's 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 It's a new deal for him. It's moving up. Well, he was. Yeah, he was. At least you have a bed. I do have a bed. Like, he has a bed. That's why. <laughs> that, I think that's why like Derek's been so cranky. <laughs> <laughs> he just never got to sleep. Are you sleeping well, Derek? <laughs> no. <laughs> Subway car. What's the rent in that place as well? <laughs> Don't worry. These are all the behind the scenes <laughs> questions we need to find. <laughs> what is Derek's rent? Oh. Just I think that's interesting. We haven't had it. Well, Isaac's paying out of this. So <laughs> he's still paying even when we yeah, kicked yeah. him out? Yeah. He's like, he broke you throw the glass at him and then he's like, out by tonight. Oh, and by the way, I'll still need half the rent check. <laughs> <laughs> Could you drop it off on Friday? And utilities. And utilities. <laughs>